Windows 7 was a long-awaited operating system, especially after all the trials and tribulations that Vista gave us. But they were very similar. Uh, just like in Vista, we're using Windows 7 Professional 64-bit at the moment. By going to the Start menu, Control Panel, you'll be greeted with this screen here, which basically splits everything up into sections, System and Security, User Accounts and Family Safety, Network, Hardware, Sound, Programs, and so on. It gives you uh, quite a brief list. You can change the view of this going small icons, large icons, which obviously breaks things up a little bit better, but there is a hidden mode in Windows Vista and Windows 7. By right clicking onto your desktop and going to New and then choosing Folder, you can then decide what you want to call your folder. There's a certain string that you can actually put in, which if we paste it in, we can see it says God Mode and then a particular string. By putting that in and pressing Enter, it automatically changes to the God Mode icon. Okay, This is a hidden feature which uh, a lot of websites have been raving on about lately, so we thought we'd show you exactly how to create it and what it does. By then going into it, you'll see that it's basically an, another control panel, but it's split up into sections. So we've got our Action Center with the main um, parts of the Action Center that you're going to need. Administrative tools, autoplay, backup, restore. It's just everything in one big list and personally I, I think it's quite quite nice and the fact that it's called God Mode um, being a bloke uh, it, it, I just think it's a quite a handy little feature and it's got a fantastic name so that is pretty much how you create God Mode and this will just give you the list of all the various different applications that you're going to need from your control panel in one easy list telling you exactly what it's called and what the application comes under whether it's user accounts troubleshooting system and so on. This uh, application does work in Vista 32 and 64 bit, but there has been uh, reported problems with Vista 64 bit, um, mainly with once you create this, sometimes the computer will crash. I'm using Windows 7 64 bit, and I have used 32 bit as well, and it works absolutely fine. So um, it might be a hit and miss story with everyone's own personal opinion and what actually happens. But with Windows 7 64-bit, what we're using now, you can see it runs absolutely fine.